Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Cam here from the Tech Lecture. Um, today we're going to be taking a look at adding our newly created user that we just created in, in Active Directory and adding them to uh, the different groups we have available to us. So first off, we got our virtual machine here running of Windows Server 20, 2008 actually. 2008. So we're going to go ahead down here and click on Start and then uh, Active Directory Users and Computers. Um, if you can't find that, you can just do a search for User in the search menu and uh, click on the first one or the Active Directory Users and Computers one. Um, that's going to open up here. Um, so you, uh, we have this techlecture.com domain here. Click on that, scroll down to our users, and then uh, we have all these different users in here. Most of these are defaults um, or like administrator, which is created initially. Uh, in the previous episode, we created this John A. Smith user. So let's go ahead and add a group, uh, add him to a group. Um, so in this case, we'll add him to uh, we'll, let's see what different group options we have here and we'll, we'll pick one from there um, so if you right click on them you can hit add to group and do it like that or you can right click and hit properties let this dialog box open up here and this member of tab over here if you click on that that's going to show all the different uh, groups that this particular user is assigned to um, so we're going to go ahead and do it this way go ahead and click on add click on advance click on find now and uh, these are all the different groups we got so we can add them to any of these different ones um, in our case we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna say uh, well first off the description right here is gonna be very important um, if you're not sure what these different groups do you can go ahead and uh, hover over this and it'll tell you what the group does it's actually very useful um, especially if you're like new to Windows and you're trying to you know get a little bit of an understanding on what these different groups uh, have the power to do um, so we're, he's already a domain user, so we're going to go ahead and make him, uh, let's go ahead and make him a domain admin. We're going to say that he's an administrator in our organization and that, um, you know, he's going to be administering some of our computers. Um, and, he, and he needs domain admin privileges. Um, another thing to consider is in your organization, I would recommend that you also use the principle of least privilege and only give the privileges that are absolute, like the least privileges that are necessary for your staff member or user in your organization to complete their job functionality. Um, so don't, you know, give them, if they're just a user on your network and they're just a staff member, do not give them domain admin privileges um, for, for any reason, really. Like, in the, there's a better way. So that's just something to kind of food for thought for you guys. Um, so let's say that he absolutely needs domain admin privileges and we need to add him to this group. So you can just double click on that group right there. You'll see the object name is uh, listed, which is domain admins. Click on OK. And as you can see right here, we have him. He is now a domain admin. Click on apply and we're good to go. So now this user is a domain admin and he should be able to perform all the functionality that the domain admins have or anything within that domain admin group. Um, you can create your own group, determine uh, what it has access to and whatnot, and then uh, add your user to that group as well. But uh, for this tutorial, we're going to keep it simple and uh, only add it to one of the already predefined groups, um, domain admins in this case. Alright guys, so that's it for adding a user to a group within Active Directory, users and computers, nothing special, uh, fairly straightforward. Um, there's other ways to do this, you can probably do it with PowerShell as well, but uh, for this case we're just going to use the regular GUI interface here. Alright guys, well thank you all for watching. Um, if you have any questions, recommendations for future videos, or uh, comments or concerns, or uh, helpful, you know, anything helpful really, something that would contribute to our community, um, leave those in the comment section below. Um, otherwise, thank you guys for watching and have a wonderful day. I'll see you all in the next video.